Hey guys, I'm Adam. You ever get that feeling like you just don't have enough ping pong paddles? Well, today we're gonna fix that. Today I'm gonna make a ping pong paddle because I need one. A ping pong paddle consists of three main parts. So you have the blade, which is the plywood piece that makes up the overall shape. You have the rubber, which is uh, for contacting the ball, or in the old school days, just use a piece of sandpaper. Uh, and then you have the two pieces on either side of the blade that make up the handle. The first step is to get the shape on the blade. Um, so I have this ping pong paddle that I've removed the rubber from one side and part of the handle, that way I can put it nice and flat here. Um, and I can use that to trace out the shape. The shape doesn't have to be perfect. I'm actually going to just do a rough cut out and then actually use a flush trim router to perfectly match the profile. I'm going to use double sided tape to stick the template onto the blank. Alright, so I have my flush trim bit mounted in my trim router. Um, I have this securely clamped to the workbench. And I've got the bit set just so that it'll trim the plywood underneath and follow along the blank paddle that I have on top. So it's a little rough around the edges, um, but we can sand that away. Um, but actually, it worked quite well. So the handle on this is about 1 and 3 16 inches wide. Um, and typically, each half of the handle is about a quarter inch thick. Um, so I'm going to cut that out of this piece of scrap wood I had lying around. All right, so I got this glued up. Um, just need to wait for it to dry, and then I can uh, finish sanding, you know, get all the uh, edges even around the handle. All right, so I did a little bit of hand sanding. Now I have the, the blade and the handle put together and ready to go. So instead of using like professional rubber that you can buy that's already pre-cut to size, uh, I actually bought some just generic rubber sheet off of eBay. Um, so this is a, a mixed component recycled rubber, 16th inch. I'm going to use this on one side and then I have this 16th inch solid rubber that I'm going to use on the other side just to see how it works. Just need to cut off a piece of this rubber for one side and then cut off the other piece for the other side. All right, now that I got a coat of spray adhesive on there, I'm gonna let that sit for three to five minutes and then press them together. Now I can take my razor and trim all the way around the edge. All 
That's one side, now it's time to do the other side. And again, trim the rubber to fit. That's cool. This pedal turned out way better than I expected. I'm actually really pleased with the rubber. I like the speckled uh, kind of textured rubber on the one side and the flat rubber on the other side. It's a little heavier than most ping pong paddles, but actually I kind of like that. Um, it feels really good. Ball bounces nice on both sides. Um, really, I'm just happy how this turned out. Uh, I've never made a ping pong paddle before. It's my first one. It's going to be the first of many. Okay, so there might be one small problem with playing ping pong right now because that is my ping pong table.